guys, and Little Freeze here, and today I'm going to be doing a draft champions video. I already, I already got my coach. I think I picked like Lovey Smith or something. I'm not sure. Um. So we got D'Amico Ryan's, Derek Shelby, and Kennard. Is that Kennard or is that Bernard? I don't know. Bernard Puller. Uh. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be uh. Doing uh gameplay. Sorry, I keep saying uh, but I'm gonna be doing gameplay. And I will try my hardest to get this gameplay for you guys. Like, I will do anything I can to get you guys this gameplay. I will not say no to not getting you guys gameplay. I will find out a way. So, yes. And this time, I'm serious. And I'm talking to my friend right now, In Lost Storm. Go check out his channel, In Lost Storm, of course. I'm giving him a shout out. Hopefully he gives me shout outs in his video. He has about around 50 subscribers. Uh, so yeah. He just started uploading again after a month. So let's get our draft champions on. So I think I'm going to have to go with Derek Shelby here because I do not like Bernard Puller. He's just a bad safety to have with really horrible speed. And there's D'Amico Ryans that has 86 overall speed and 91 tackle. But... His zone is a 72, so I'm going to have to go with Derek Shelby. And Lost Storm was saying that he actually has been playing good for the Titans or whatever team he played on. But actually, oh, he was playing good for the Titans. And I think his card was on free agents or something. But anyways, he's 79 Brian Cushing, 79 Duke Johnson, or an 80 Henry Melton. I can't really go with two defensive linemen in a row, so... And this Duke Johnson card is really nice. 94 speed, 90 agility, 93 acceleration with an 83 carry, 93 elusiveness, and a 96 juke move. So I'm going to have to go with Duke Johnson. I've been wanting to try him out, and I don't really want to use him on my ultimate team. So the next one, we're, we might as well build up the offensive line for Duke Johnson. So why not get Corey Gunn? Next shot. I mean, next round, we actually get an elite, so we get Pierre Garçon, Ronald Darby, or Travis Frederick. Um, I don't really want to get another offensive lineman. Plus, centers really don't matter. Um, Ronald Darby has really good speed, really good acceleration, really good agility, and good man, but not very, I mean, decent zone. Uh, he doesn't have very good press, but there is also Pierre Garçon, which I need some targets, so I'm going to have to go with Pierre Garçon here, just because he's an 87 overall, and he's a really good wide receiver. So now we get a horrible round, but I might have to go with Josh Wilson here. We also have Louis Domes and Tahari Whitehead. Tahari Whitehead, if I had his bet better card, the 80-something overall, I would probably pick him. But this time, I'm going to have to pass on him. There's a Louis Domes. Louis Domes, I'm not sure how to say his name. But anyways, he has 84 speed with a 91 acceleration. Don't really like that in a free safety with horrible speed. He does have 85 zone coverage, but we always need those cornerbacks to lock down. Even though he has horrible zone coverage, but I'm going to have to get him just in case we don't get any other cornerbacks in this draft. So our next round, we do get an 87 tight end, Jason Witten. A halfback out of position player, Tavon Austin, or 88 right guard. I'm not. I'm going to get Tavon Austin here. I can always put him at halfback if I need to, but he has 97 speed, 97 agility with a 93 acceleration. He has really good elusiveness at a 94 and a 97 juke move. That plays out really good at the kick returning spot and at wide receiver, so that's where I'm going to put him. Next round, we get Russell Wilson, Mike Potty, and we also get a Nate Washington. We already picked up a wide receiver. We already have Pierre Garçon also. So I'm going to have to go with Mike Uptka just because uh, he has 94 run block, which we might be able, we, we might abuse the run. But we also have, we also have Russell Wilson here. Uh, he does have pretty decent speed for a quarterback. His throwing stats aren't that good with an 84 throw deep. Um, an 82 throw accuracy short and an 86 medium. So I'm gonna have to go with Michael Potty though. Two words here, difference yeah. maker. 
That's what that dick right there is. Yeah. Alright, so here we get a nice round here. This is what I think. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go with Ben Rosberger just because he has 72 speed. He is a pocket passer, but I cannot pocket pass. There is also a Dominic Rogers Camardi and an Earl Thomas. I'm gonna have to go with Earl Thomas here, and I'm actually surprised that he hasn't had uh, upgrade this year. I'm pretty sure he hasn't had an upgrade this year. He only has this base elite 88 overall free safety. He has been playing pretty nice for the Seahawks, but I have to go with Earl Thomas here just to get my strong, I mean my free safety and basically my secondary up. Now we're in the ninth round. We have uh, 80 strong safety, an 82 outside linebacker, an 84 defensive tackle, Shree Floyd, Robert Mathis, or McDonald, or Mc, yeah, McDougal. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to pass on this uh, 80 overall strong safety. This Robert Mathis is pretty nice. If I was running a 3 4, I'm going to have to go with Shree Floyd here because he's a Vikings and he has pretty decent stats. He's also an 84 and he runs with my zone D. Now in the 10th round, we have Christian Jones, Jonathan Babanksuits, I don't know, I don't think many people can pronounce that, but the announcers, and we also have a Parrish Cox, um, I'm gonna have to go with this Christian Jones, just cause I do not have a linebacking core right now, and he is actually a really nice card, he is a road to the playoffs, but I'm gonna have to go with Christian Jones here. So we are in the 11th round right now. We have uh, Mike Adams, strong safety, 80 overall, an 80 overall Russell linebacker Justin Durant, or an 80 overall middle linebacker Jarrell Freeman. I'm gonna have to go with the Justin Durant here because we do not have a position there, and he can play. He can play a 4-3 if you if he needs to. So we're gonna have to get Justin Durant here. Kind of an interesting choice there. I'm not entirely convinced. So now we're in the 12th round. We have um, an Eric Reed, Tremaine Brock, or a Jerry Hughes. I'm going to have to go with Tremaine Brock here just because we don't really have any good cornerbacks. And um, we don't really need another offense, I mean, another defensive lineman. Excuse me. Uh, we already have two. And we already have something, someone at this free safety spot. I'm not sure if I said that yet. But yes, we're going to go with Tremaine Brock just to build up our secondary. And here we go. All right, so we get uh, Devin Hester, 86 overall cornerback, a 92 defensive tackle, Jason Hatcher, or an 89 cornerback, Vontae Davis. So I might have to go with Vontae Davis here just because he is an all-around good cornerback. We, as you guys can see, 76 and 75 overall cornerbacks, they are not very good. We're going to have to pass up on this flashback, Jason Hatcher, just because you don't really need flashback defensive tackles to do anything. And we also have Sharif Floyd there. So, yes, we're going to have to pick up Vontae Davis just because we do not have a very good secondary besides that Earl Thomas. Yeah. Oh, and we get here. We get a Chris Johnson, a Jeff Saturday, or a Dermonte Dawson. So we're going to have to go with Chris Johnson here because we can put Tavon Austin at wide receiver. Of course, he's an 85 at wide receiver, better than he is at halfback. And Duke Johnson is only a 79 overall, and we don't really need legend centers, and we're going to be running to the left a lot. So let's get CJ2K here. And here we do get a Herman Moore, who is a really beast glitch wide receiver. We also do get a 96 overall Willie Rolf who has 92 run block and we also get a Christian Okoye. We do not need a Christian we do not need Christian Okoye. He is a beast though, but we already have Chris Johnson there. We're going to have to build up our offensive line for Chris Johnson. So let's get this 96 overall Willie Rolf. Oh, We're going to put that left tackle at right tackle. I hope you guys liked that video. Like, subscribe, comment, favorite. Gameplay will be coming to you guys later. Peace out.